Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well and I'm here to cover the Pakistan vs England game. The last few games have been really good from a GL perspective. All our rotations have been working pretty well and keeping the same in mind and with that same set of positivity we'll get into the preview for the Pakistan vs England game. Before I get to the preview, keep in mind that you join this free entry contest. Not too many available nowadays and you can join with up to six teams there are also many more free entry contests i've put the links in the description of my telegram channel you can go and join them from there now looking at our team for this specific game before i get to the players keep in mind that this track was pretty decent for batting it didn't have too much in terms of pace while spinners got decent amount of help but nothing over the top so let's look at the team that we can set up for today from the keeping section i'll go with mohammad rizwan his form has been impeccable and he's very difficult for you to drop. The only thing that can work against him right now is probably law of averages. So it's the, maybe that is one or two GL teams where you can take the chance. From the batting section, Babar Azam, Alex Hills both pick themselves. Now one between David Milan and Harry Brook. I think I'll still go with Milan as he's batting higher. Brook is batting quite low and there is a chance that on a day where Moin Ali gets promoted, he can get demoted too. From the other Pakistani batters, Heather Ali batted up, up top but he didn't really look in much of a flow and Shan Masood did look nervous on his debut but I think those nerves will break off soon. An interesting option for you to try would be Ben Duckett. He has played quite a bit in the PSL so I think from a Grand League perspective if you feel like one of these batters is going to fail then I think from all of these choices Ben Duckett is would be like my top choice and maybe harry brook is someone else that you can try but primarily this guy then you look at the all-rounders moin ali again picks himself bold two important overs and he will bat two when the time is right mohammed nawaz he bowled his full quota of four overs but one thing to keep in mind is he bowled in very defensive phases and his bowling was in itself was defensive too but because he's bowling 4 overs and we saw, I was expecting Iftikhar to be used in the last game but that didn't happen even though he did the job with us for the bat. With his style of batting, it's slightly difficult for it to come off every game and hence Nawaz is the better choice. Sam Karin, again I didn't expect him to bowl his full quota, I was expecting Gleason to do that. But because Sam did that, I think I'll have to go with Sam Karin here. Then you look at the bowlers, Luke Wood. When he bowls first, amazing Grand League captaincy, vice captaincy choice as he bowls two in the power play, two in the death. That's your ideal GL captaincy choice. Then from the spinners here, Adil Rashid or Usman Kadir, I'll pick one of the two, whoever is bowling second. So for now, assuming maybe it's Usman, so we'll just pick him in this side. From the Pakistani bowlers, Naseem Shah got hit quite a bit. Now one observation about Naseem Shah is whenever there's lesser help from the pitch, he is slightly placid with the way he bowls. So if this pitch is going to be the same and not relayed, it's probably a risk that you can take. Harris Roff, I'm picking if he's bowling first. Amazing Grand League captaincy, vice captaincy choice. Now this is the setup of the team with your 10 players. Who is your 11th player going to be? I think if Pakistan are bowling first, one of Shanavas Dhani or Naseem Shah. If England are bowling first, then I think I'll go with David Willey. Because he again bowled his full quota. I am to be very honest. I'll mention again. I am very keen to go with Gleason over any of these guys. But because he's not bowling his full quota. It makes it difficult for me to pick him. I will surely try that combination in grand leagues. But because in mini GL and small leagues. If he's not bowling full quota. I'd, like at least from the last indications. It make no, makes no sense to pick him there. So hence I'll pick these guys. Captaincy, vice captaincy options. I think Moin Ali still is the best captain for me as he will play an important role with the bat too when his turn comes. Vice captaincy, Harris Roff if he's bowling first, else Luke Wood. For now, I'm going with Harris Roff. You can pick up this team directly from the MyFab11 Guru section. I'm sharing it right now. The app link and my Guru link is in the description. You should come and follow me here. So I also get some more footage and i'm able to reach few more people when on that happens only when you guys hit the like button and comment so remember to do that now let's look at the exchange 22 picks for this game 
so looking at the exchange money to picks for this game on this app you can go with just one two three players how many ever you feel is appropriate no headache of making a combination one guy working other guy not working those problems don't exist here so that might make life a little bit easier if pakistan are batting first i will go with kush dil shah at rupees 20 he is a very very reasonable and valuable pick from the bowling section harris roff if bowling first usman kadir if bowling second Shah Nawaz Dhani bowling first. So it's pretty straightforward, right? This approach that when I when the team bowling first, I'm able to pick their death bowlers. If team is bowling second, the spinners, because if there's a decent score that's set up, spinners in the middle overs take wicket. So that is pretty much the approach that I take on exchange 22. Then from the England side, I would go with David Willey if he's bowling first. Sam Curran depends on his batting number, so I'm not too sure on that one. I'm Pretty keen to go with Richard Gleeson, but you know why. <laughs> and Luke Wood if he's bowling first again at rupees 31. One feeling that I have here is that maybe they are gonna pick one between these guys to bowl, bowl full quota based on the day that they're having. So even though Gleeson went at only 6 in the last game, 6.5 rather, the other bowlers were not too bad either, and hence Gleeson got the cut. But maybe there'll be a day where Willie or Curran go at above 10 and then Gleason goes and bowls the full quota. So that is something that's possible. Adil Rashid, if he's bowling second, you can pick him as your exchange point to pick here. So that is my setup for this specific game. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. And I want to know your predictions. How many runs is Moin Ali going to hit today? So go hit the comments immediately and let me know what you think about that. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you have a great game.